Hey there everyone, Ramesh here. In this video, we are going to talk about what is JDK, JRE and JVM. So this is a very important topic, especially for Java beginners. And Java beginners may get a question in interviews, like what is JDK, JRE and JVM and what is the difference between them. Well, in this video, I am going to explain you what exactly is JDK, JRE and JVM and why we need to use JDK, JRE and JVM. And JDK, JRE, JVM are very important concepts in Java programming language. As a Java beginner, you need to understand what is JDK, JRE and JVM. Alright guys. So let's first understand what is JDK, JRE and JVM and bit later we will deep dive into the Java installation and you will see what exactly JDK and JRE contains. Alright guys. So first let us talk about JDK. JDK stands for Java Development Kit and JDK contains a JRE along with that compiler, debugger, Java doc and key tool. Alright, so just remember JDK is a you know software development kit which we can use to develop and run Java programs or Java applications. And JDK contains a JRE plus compiler, debugger, Java doc and key tool. Alright guys. Now let's talk about JRE. JRE stands for Java Runtime Environment and we use JRE to run Java programs or Java applications. Well look at here JRE contains JVM along with that class libraries. So basically JRE is an implementation of JVM and we use JRE to run Java programs. So if you, you have already developed Java applications or Java programs and if you want to run Java programs or Java applications then JRE is sufficient. Alright. So if you want to run Java programs then you can use JRE. Alright. So just remember JDK we use to develop and run Java programs because JDK contains a JRE plus compiler, debugger, Java doc and key tool. And JRE we use only to run Java programs or Java application because it don't have a compiler, debugger or Java doc key tool to develop Java programs or Java applications. So whenever you want to run only Java programs then you can use JRE. So if you want to develop and run Java programs then you have to use JDK. Now let's talk about JVM. JVM is in the heart of Java programming language. When we execute a Java program JVM is responsible for converting a bytecode into machine specific code. Okay, so JVM is also platform dependent and provides core Java functions such as memory management, garbage collection, security, etc. Alright, we can also customize the JVM as per our requirement. Like we can, you know, customize JVM, uh, like we can allocate minimum and maximum memory to JVM. So JVM is called abstract virtual machine because it provides an interface that does not depend on underlying operating system and machine hardware. So just remember, we use Java Virtual Machine to translate a byte code into a machine specific code and JVM is platform dependent. To understand more about JVM, let's move to the second slide. So look at here, here are the steps to run any Java program. Okay. So let's say we create a file with .java extension and we write a Java program into it. So we use JDK to develop Java programs or Java applications. And we use a Java compiler to compile Java program into Java bytecode. So JDK has a compiler. So we can use a Java compiler to compile Java program into Java bytecode. So we use JDK to develop a Java program and to compile Java program. Alright. So once we have a Java bytecode in dot class file, then we need a JVM to translate Java bytecode into machine specific code. Alright. So we use JVM to translate Java bytecode into machine specific code. And this machine specific code is a setup instruction that automatically executes uh, our CPU and which will again produce the output. Now let's quickly explore Java installation and what JDK and JRE exactly contains. Alright guys. So when we install Java, by default Java folder uh, is created inside program files. 
so look at here java folder uh, has created inside program files and if you open java folder you can see two folders jdk and jre so i have already installed java 8 hence we can see here jdk 1.8 jre 1.8 so when we install java along with jdk we will also get a jre and jdk we use to develop and run java programs or java applications but jre we use only to run java programs or java applications all right guys now let's explore what is there inside jdk so look at here jdk again contains internally a jre okay along with jre it contains a debugger compiler and tool uh, key tool uh, let me quickly see here uh, key tool and also debugger all right so jdk contains jre along with that it contains a compiler key tool debugger now i have shown you what jdk contains now you, are, you will be able to remember what jdk is and what J, what jdk contains all right just remember java development kit is a software de software development kit which we uh, require to develop and run java programs and jdk contains jre plus compiler debugger key tool and java doc okay now let's deep dive into the jre so let's open jre folder so jre basically contains a jvm implementation plus some of the class libraries which requires to run java programs or java applications so these are the class libraries which are uh, you know basically required to run java programs all right so now you can able to remember what jre is so jre stands for java runtime environment and which we use to run java programs or java applications and it contains jv implementation plus class libraries to run java programs now we have the basic understanding of jdk jvm and jre let's look into the difference between them jdk is for development purpose and whereas jre is for running java programs or java applications jdk and jre both contains jvm so that we can run our java programs or java applications jvm is a heart of java programming language and provides a platform independence all right guys i hope you understood what is jdk jre and jvm and also you understood the difference between them all right guys thanks for watching uh, subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish such videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you guys in next video